I am such a lucky girl. My second weekend of horror movies with you. I'm so happy you watch them with me. I'm so happy you choose to do the right thing to make me happy and watch these with me. Isn't it really exciting? And tonight, I've chosen a nice slasher movie. Mm -hmm. I love to watch these slashers stalk their victims. They have so much stamina. They follow them everywhere. Just like I do with you when you're not with me. I follow you to make sure that you behave like we've agreed you're supposed to do. It's only right that I keep an eye on you when you're not with me. And when I can't be there following you myself, well, there are other ways for me to know what you're up to. But trust me, I do know. And if you slip, you know what's coming for you. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to watch a nice slasher movie so that I can revel in the stamina of the stalking. The thrill of the chase is so intoxicating. And I know, deep down in your heart, you like to be chased. Who doesn't like to be chased? To be wanted so deeply, so passionately, that nothing will do but being with you all the time, even if that means following you everywhere, or locking you up in my basement. Fortunately, you're a good partner, and you know to be available and transparent at all times. You know what else I like about these slasher movies? Do you ever look into the slasher's eyes right before he or she thrusts the knife deep into their victim? The desire they have for their victim, the want, the need, I know those feelings. It's how I feel about you. And it's more than that. There's a certain intimacy when you penetrate someone with a knife. Being so deep inside them. It's so very exciting. It's an intimacy only a doctor could have with you, or a slasher, or someone who has some medical skills, like I do. But I often imagine, after plunging the knife into my victim, pulling it out, and tasting their blood, running my tongue along the knife. It's so intimate. The most intimate of their juices. Oh, 
who wouldn't want to taste that? I've seen people eating their steak rare. I know what they want. And I can't help but think of how amazing your blood would taste. But it's not enough. It's just not enough. I need to be closer to you. And after I tasted the blood, I put my fingers inside the hole I made in you to feel you deep inside. There's no other way to get that deep inside you. Because I love you that much, I want to be a part of you. I need it. I'd love to enjoy the wet, warm, cuddly closeness that comes with my fingers inside your gaping wound. I know we can't do it for real because of the law. Because I need you and I can't give you up. So, unfortunately, I can't kill you. So that's not an experience we can have. But we can try different ways to get as close to that as possible. You know I have the skills to stitch you up. And I wouldn't cut you so deep. But even before that, it would be so much fun to tell you to run through the house, out in the woods, as I chase you, looking for you, knowing what's going to happen to you when I find you. It could be like our own personal horror attraction. Wouldn't it be amazingly fun? Oh, to hear your screams. Just like the victims in the movie. Panicked screams, the passion flowing, so much more flowing. Come on now, get a little closer. The movie's about to start, and I want to feel you tremble through all of the scary parts. <laughs> 